allowed to say wonderful things about the royal family in the House of Commons. What you're not allowed to say is anything that might be truthful, but that uh, might upset them. So from time to time I've been pulled up because I've said things which I think are important. I actually believe that the royal family have been pushing their own self-destruction button for about the last five years. And although there is a massive opposition now to the royalty in Britain, it's probably 50-50. At one time, one would have thought that maybe 95% would have supported the monarchy. It's not because there's been a massive sweep of republicanism, it's because they've dug their own pit. They want to be, on the one hand, mysterious and on the other they want to be in the public eye and you can't be both you can't be regal and common at the same time and that's what they've tried to be they want to be in the footlights they want to be like soap opera stars my view is they've stripped away those veneers of mystery themselves in the last few years with the net result is the british people a lot of them are now saying that the queen could be the last reigning monarch so I'm no longer in a minority on this issue. I came to Parliament 24 years ago as one of the very few on the Labour side that was anti-monarchist, and now it's becoming embarrassing. I've got so many friends outside who believe the same thing. So when we've got rid of them, I don't believe we should be cruel like Mrs Thatcher and throw them on the dole. I think we should provide them with work. I think that Di and Fergie should become marriage guidance counsellors. I believe the Queen could take a job at Royal Ascot, looking after the horses, because that's their real bent. And Prince Philip, he could be running a kebab shop in North London. <laughs>